Hey there, how are you? Good, I hope. Um, this is This Bird Has Flown by Susanna Hoffs. If that name sounds familiar to you, that's because she's from a little band called The Bangles. You may have heard of them. So this is sort of a, like a rom-com type of book. It's about Jane Sm Start, who is a music star, who had a hit 10 years ago, but who has had middling success since, or not a lot of success since. When the writer of her original song, Jonesy, contacts her about performing at the Royal Albert Hall, she reluctantly gets on a plane where she meets Cute with a handsome Oxford English professor. Soon they are hot and heavy, but their relationship is complicated by a mysterious ex-girlfriend and the looming specter of what Jonesy is planning at that big concert. So as I mentioned, Susanna Hoffs was a member of the Bangles, and I mean, celebrity-related books always have some entertainment value on some level for me, and I liked this one was just purely fiction. It's a novel, uh, though it takes place in like an industry and uh, a milieu that the author knows really well. So I, I think that's like a really strong point about this book, one of its strengths. Uh, romantic comedy reads are not r always my typical read of choice, but some can be delightful and funny like this one. And it's nice to not always read something that's heavy and serious. And I did enjoy this one. I liked that the main character was a musician who had some success, but was not like a big star, nor was she just starting out. It felt like a fresh take, an old hand in the music industry, but by not being a young ingenue or a big star who's just trying to find love, the book kind of avoids a lot of these tropes that I've seen quite a few times before. There's a nice cast of characters here from the terribly British love interest, the cute best friend, an agent, a brother struggling to find his place in the world, and other side characters that all feel like rom-com characters, but not too thinly drawn. They all have their place and something to add to the story, which I really liked. The book offers up a lot of funny, witty thoughts from the narrator and also funny and sweet little moments or situations that I thought were really good. It made me smile a few times with its little jokes and its wit. The only problem that I had with this book was that it felt a little bit slow. I couldn't quite put my finger on why I wasn't like completely invested all the way through. And then I realized that I guessed where the book was going. The story presents a mysterious ex-girlfriend and soon the main character is obsessing over her. And that was kind of a bit pathetic and annoying, but especially because the book hints at Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier and Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And it meant that we knew too far ahead of time where all this was going and it explained some of the love interests sort of mood swings and and also that Jane was going to obsess over that ex-girlfriend rather than giving really good reasons for her to obsess over her the ex the ex until much later in the book so it's not a huge floor but one that just kind of bothered me a little bit throughout on the whole though this is really good and I hope that Hoffs writes more. It's funny, smart, very sexy. It has some down to earth, real notes to it, while also having a bit of like, I don't know, rock and roll kind of music stuff as well, so to speak. Our main character is a star and her life is interesting, but she's also just trying to work, trying to make music, trying to have a healthy relationship. She's witty and relatable. It's a romantic comedy, but it has a little bit of bite too. Um, so this one is one to read if you're a fan of Susanna, Susanna Hoffs or The Bangles for sure. But also if you like romantic books that aren't too heavy and aren't too light. You can check out some of my other videos. I also have another channel and social, so you can find links below if you want more of that. And if you want to hang out again, remember to like and subscribe. And you can always leave a comment. Let me know what you thought or let me know what else you might want to see. Thank you.